Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Tarsino here, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to shoot lights out in NBA 2K17. The first thing you're going to want to know to shoot lights out in NBA 2K17 is about the shot stick. You're going to have to know about what the shot stick does versus using square. There is so much false information going around about this, it's crazy. So many big YouTubers have done videos comparing square and the shot stick, and they compare it in absolutely the wrong fashion because they try to get green lights. When really the only thing the shot stick actually does is help with full white bars. So what happens? So what happens is when you get a full white bar, you guys know what that's like. If you're using square and you get a full white bar, it's about a, it's a good chance the shot goes in, but it's not it's not really like high percentage. It's a good chance if you get a full white bar while you're using square. Now the thing is, and this is literally the only difference when you use the shot stick, those full white bars, if you use the shot stick and you get excellent aim, either upwards, right, down, or left. So whenever you use the shot stick, pretty much guys, you, you, you get, uh, a lot of you guys will know this, when you use the shot stick, if you look underneath the shot meter, you see this little arrow pop up. You see that little green arrow? That means I got good aim on that shot. If it's right, aligned in the middle, I got excellent aim. If you get a full white bar with good aim, that increases your chances of making that full white bar by a good amount and if you get full white with excellent aim that pretty much almost guarantees the shot is going to go in now that is something that so many youtubers do not actually say or or like or like teach and it's crazy it is absolutely crazy if you get a full white bar fellas and you get excellent aim chances are the shot's going to go in so the point of using the shot stick is in the long run it makes you a lot more consistent because there is human error fellas you're not going to green light every single shot or well, there's 100 percent come on you're not going to get every single green light. You can you can green light about 90% this year. But when you do get full white, that shot stick is what makes the difference in consistency. A dude who's getting full white bars with square the whole time versus a dude who's getting full white bars with excellent aim the whole time. The guy with excellent aim is going to get a lot more shots than the guy with square. And yes, I have tested that. I have tested doing full whites with square to shoot and with the shot stick to shoot. And with that aim meter, with that little extra aim meter, it does no doubt give you a boost on those white bars if you see me play on my twitch streams fellas I've, I've been on a I've been on a load of 50 win streaks now if you've seen me go on them you know that using the stick I get so many full whites and just because I get that excellent aim it is literally a game changer literally so yeah guys I'm um, pretty much just to show you guys how I shoot I'm actually gonna hop into the prime arena now one thing a lot of you guys practice in my court but the best arena to practice in is actually just the pro-am because if you go into the little prime arena for the teams it's got a little little bit of online online lag now as you guys know offline versus online has a slight difference in latency so if you go to the uh, prime arena you get a slight little uh, online feel to it a little my park prime feel so I like going into a team arena and just practicing in there so yo I'm about to go on the controller cam and you guys are gonna see just how I shoot I'm gonna do this in the first take so uh, let's just see how many shots I can make Okay, so I pretty much just hopped into the team arena and now I'm going to put some shots up for you guys to show you how the shot stick works. Here we go, straight up on the stick. Watch the controller cam on the bottom right, fellas, just to see how I do it. It's it's my way of doing it, but there are other ways. You don't have to aim it straight up. You can aim it straight right, straight down, straight left. Every way is exactly the same. You just have to aim it straight in either direction to get excellent aim. And uh, yeah, as you guys can see, that arrow on the bottom is what you want to focus on when you're practicing. You want to practice getting that arrow straight. Okay, don't don't worry about getting green releases. That is all about your jump shot. The jump shot I'm using right now is Trey Burke, but I, I know everyone's different. Everyone likes different jump shots. I don't like saying one jump shot is better than another. There's a lot out there that are kind of easy to green light, but uh in general you just gotta find one that you that you can green light easy and stick with it. Mine is Trey Burke, so if you guys want to try getting used to that, go ahead. But uh, if you like something else like high school one, Carmelo Custom, whatever, go with that and just practice getting that excellent aim with it. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. I really hope that tutorial helped you guys out. Uh, so pretty much all I had to say was that white bars, the percentage of them is increased if you use the shot stick. And uh, human error dictates that you're not going to green light every time. So using the shot stick does make you a lot more consistent. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please drop a like if that helped you or if you enjoyed it. And uh, please subscribe to join TYC Nation and to keep up with my upcoming content. We are nearly at 2,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I will catch you guys on the next video. You've been watching Tarsino. Live, love, and laugh.